What's going on, guys? We're in Bangkok on a warm Sunday. And we just got to the floating market. So big farmer's market kind of style. And the floating market's famous because it's got these cool boats that run through it. So we're gonna check those out too. Not my favorite, Darien. Oh boy. Per usual though, we got lots of desserts, lots of dinner, lunch items like kebabs and pad thai and all that good stuff. Is it the same as pad thai noodle? No, it's just different. But it's with like some, some pork plus with noodle. Interesting. A little bit different than pad thai, I guess. <laughs> So this is a pork meatball, sorry, pork meatball. These are the boat noodles, boat noodles. She got small ones. Yeah, there's three different noodles you could choose from there. And then there's some chunks of pork and two, which I might've eaten them all trying to find them. That's really good actually. So it's like pudding on the bottom and then coconut, coconut milk on top. It's like pretty thick though. It's more thick than condensed milk. And it's warm too. Oh. What do you call this one? Kenom. Kenom Toy. Yes, that's it. Okay. It takes like 30 seconds, but eventually you'll get the names down. Alright, rating on this one. We're going nine out of ten with this. What about you? Of course, ten. Of course, ten. Of course. Seven out of ten. Seven. So the girls are trying to figure out how we can get on one of these boats. You got tickets? Yes. So, so the boat leave at three p.m. Peanut brittle, but dry, a little more dry. We're gonna get this one six out of ten. Good snack. Good. Six and a half. Okay, you see now. What about you? Six. Rice, it's sweeter than that. Yes, it's sweet. Mm. Yeah, that tastes delicious. Hmm. Yeah, like a healthy granola bar. Really soft though. Good though. I feel like we're at Costco right now with all the samples. Right now. It's kind of fire. Celine? Yes. Celine. 
cream is the name of these. It's like a jello or a pudding. Yeah, it's kind of it's good like jello. Okay. Cool. <laughs> It's a bit harder than you would think it is, but yeah. it tastes really good. It's like really firm jello or gelatin. And most of these Thai sweets are not quite as calorie dense as I feel like a lot of the sweets are in the Western world. More of like jellos and puddings rather than like bread, cakey stuff. So. Different, but very good. And the adventure begins. I feel like we're on Jungle Cruise in Disneyland right now. Oh, Disneyland! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Really relaxing it seems like. Doesn't smell too great, I will say that. It's not terrible, but it's pretty murky. What the? Are we in Venice or Thailand right now? Do I dare to swim? Yes. That shit yes. would kill me. I would die in there. From whatever monitor lizards are swimming around. Yeah, it definitely has some odd. What's the diseases? Ah. Where the hell are we going? I thought we were gonna stay <laughs> close. We're gonna left Bangkok. I guess so. We're out of here. To Pattaya? Yeah. Nice. So that's a look at the motor that they're using in these boats. I was wondering how he has such good control over it, maneuvering it, but really, really long motor it looks like. It sticks out really far, so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that looks like a like an alligator. See what's going on. It's like an outdoor temple. Lots of golden Buddhas. And a bunch of chickens at the front for some reason. Do you know this? Dead people. Dead people? Mm -hmm. Dead monks? No, 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 no. Like people, people who leaves around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Is it like a... Every, all, um, their family always, like, respect and when they die, just yeah. bring them to the temple yes. and their bones is in Their here. ashes are here? Yeah. Mm. Very cool. Alright, time to go. Where are we off to next? So, we're gonna go to or Orchid Garden next. Orchid Garden, I guess. Wee. All that floating market food is digesting crazy right now. I haven't... Oh, shit. Figured it was a good time to get some Thai iced tea. Some Thai milk tea. We have a cool little coffee shop here. Little stand. Seems like chill vibes today for everyone. We're gonna need to burn that one off later.
So the Thai milk tea is about 30 baht, which is about $1. And she's got some snacks out for 20 baht, which is about 75 cents. So very affordable. Cool that it's a little family owned business too. Your barista isn't that focused. Don't talk to me. Kakum cop. Oh my god, that is so good. Good stuff. No, it's a Thai milk tea, which is the same as Thai iced tea, right? Yeah, it's the same, but I think okay. it's more sweet. Okay, maybe this has more like sugar and condensed milk. This is Thai and real coffee. Mm -hmm. Definitely like a dessert, but it is delicious. And when you're in Thailand, you gotta get one. And that was a speedboat. Apparently there's speedboats on this tiny little river. Just making it back. And I just realized, I think all of these engines are just car engines. Yeah, car engines. They just yank these out of cars, that's so wild. All right, let's get out of here. Fun afternoon. Got some work done earlier today. We got to watch the UFC fights. And we finally made it to a floating market. So, one of the cooler markets I've been to for sure. More food options than most places have. And more unique things too. So, overall, really cool experience. Floating market was a good time. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a stick of butter. It's wild. All right, what you see there is the famous durian. It's known for being one of the smelliest fruits. There's even signs on a lot of doors and stores that say do not bring durian in or you'll get kicked out. So one of the most unique parts about Thailand for sure is their durian. I've tried it, I'm not a huge fan. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Um, but they do make some chips and some other things that are pretty good too. So these are the durian chips here. Salt baked durian chips. Kind of tastes like a sweet potato chip. A little bit of unique aftertaste, but pretty good. Mm, I like it. I like it. How's the ice cream? It's good. I just need chocolate. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's not as creamy, it's like icy almost. I'm sure. I'm sure. That Thai tea was enough for me. I'm singing Halo back there. Alright, afternoon at the floating market completed. You guys have fun? Yeah, of course. I'm also a little bit tired because of the weather. Yeah, it's so warm out here. We're ready to go get some air conditioning. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you learned a little bit about the floating market here in Bangkok, Thailand. And we got some more adventures coming next weekend. Do some work throughout the week here. So stay tuned. Got more stuff coming. Guys, make sure to like, subscribe so you don't miss any of our adventures. And we will see you guys on the next one.